I was in the mood to make some other videos this week, so here is another Cramp Twins rewatch. It's another episode. I picked it at random. Honestly, the title sounded interesting. I have no idea what I'm in for, so here is Cramp Twins Nostalgia Nasty. Finding new ways to be a sociopath. Lucian's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna do to him? And that's where Wayne gets it from. Will you look at this? A genuine piece of cleansing memorabilia, just like the ones our forefathers used. Let's give it a go. I'll fetch some soda flakes. Hmm. I don't know who the short guy is. It's just a harmless face. I'm sure it'll pass shortly. Yeah. <laughs> To be. Okay, that's cool. We ordered it from the latest issue of Old Time Life, the official magazine of the nostalgia community. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly, oh, nostalgia community. I feel like that's aged well. Short, pink skinned Wayne. Please thank your parents again. It's so generous of them to let us use their holiday cabin. They'll be just like pioneers blazing a trail out in the bush. The cabin's at the back of the lot. Keep to the track. You can't miss it. I don't, I don't remember that character. Oh, come on, Wayne. This will give you boys a chance to share and bond. Yeah. Thank us for the happy memories. The only thing they're going to bond over is torture. Okay, the kid's name is Tony. I can almost smell my ancestors. Of course, in those days, fathers got a need more respect. Say, how about hmm. the kids call me sir? Do you think they had this many dogs back then? Better stick to the path, women, for there are swarmy holes everywhere. You wouldn't want to end up a statistic, Wayne. <laughs> Nice. Again, they're both on the receiving end of the violence. It's pretty nice to see. Yikes. Family's weird. Ah, pine fresh goodness. Because usually the parents in a lot of these kids' shows are pretty normal. But here, everyone in the family works off each other, and everyone's pretty weird in their own way. Better get used to it. Then let's do our own wrestling, Slippy Hog style. And I got the pork and grease. <laughs> Are the eggs already in there? All this place needs is a bump in back makeover. And I strangely 
Haunted by the strangeness. system. versus nature. to the tree. Likely weird. There's just too many of them. Will you stop complaining, Wade? It's interrupting the beautiful sounds of the raindrops. She's lost her mind. They're slowly going mad. Nice. 
nice. Okay, the last episode I reviewed, Wayne is the one who had the last laugh. Here, Lucian's the one who has the last laugh. And he's pretty much watching everyone go crazy and... I guess provoking them, or just being smug and rubbing it in. Again, I appreciate the edge this show has. I think in many ways it is funny, but in other ways I feel like it could be punched up even more. This one has a really, really good theme of not clinging too much to the past and how technology's not always such a bad thing, and the good old days may not have always been as good as you remember. There's some things you have to let go of. There's no time like the present. There's a really good theme in there. I'd say my biggest joy watching this is, I wouldn't say this is one of the funniest because it's not, it could have been exaggerated even more. And the pacing of this episode, it felt very, very fast because it had a good idea. It was building on it. Strange enough, I had thought, I was, I feel like it could have been maybe slowed down a bit, exaggerated a little more. But the fun of it really is Wayne and Lucian being utter assholes to each other. And I do appreciate the weird family that both the parents get to be weird and funny and work off the sons too. So everyone in this family has their edge and has their weird personality, which is cool to see. Again, usually Usually parent characters are not as wacky. They're usually supportive and very tropey. And they're pretty tropey here too, but they're still kind of funny. They're still different. Yeah, the neat, there's usually a neat freak obsessed character, but there is something different about how the mom in this show, how Mrs. Cramp acts like it. Because there is a little bit of sadism going on with her that matches the tone of the show perfectly. So this was a really interesting one. And again, I like the tone of the show. I like the weird look of it. I like the weird characters. I, the side characters, I will say, are not always that memorable. And it's hard. It's not always clear how they know each other. But again, watching it out of order, I feel like if, if I saw more of this show in a row, I'd pick it up pretty quickly. Because the fun of it really is Wayne and Lucian. I just, I take a sick joy out of watching this show. Yeah, it could be punched up a little more. It could probably be more exaggerated. But this one still had a really good theme. It still had a good idea. It was still... I also appreciate that Wayne and Lucian tend to, I guess, outdo each other pretty evenly. At least for the two episodes... I've seen for this and the few episodes I have seen period so yeah that is pretty cool there's a pretty even dynamic between them yeah that's cool to see Wayne is definitely more a brawny jerk and Lucian's a brainy jerk and they're just they're equal levels of terrible but in a way I still really enjoy it say the tone of the show and the acting really are the strengths and it is it is very very unique I think that's why I like it so much. The tone is very, very funny. The characters and the actors are very funny. I don't always find the writing very funny. The scenario is pretty tame. There is something very tame about the actual lines themselves and something kind of safe about it, but the actors give so much energy to it. And I think why I like it, there is a charm to this show. I would say the best way I can describe it is sick joy. Yeah, the characters are being jerks to each other, but they're all strangely really likable. It feels like there is a ton of fun. Wayne and Lucian are not irredeemable. They have their moments of humanity. Wayne actually participates and helps the family out, and Lucian is essentially trying to show the family that clinging to the past is insane, so he's the sane man, but he's also, he eats it too. So it just goes to show how some elements of this show really can bring a show to life. But the elements I don't like as much do prevent me from really getting into this show and really wanting to come back on a consistent basis, even though I do always have fun watching it. The nostalgia goggles do help it a lot, too. It's a show where I get the idea what it is very quickly. 
At the same time, though, like I said, there is a lot going for it. And I do have fun whenever I watch it. It's just one that doesn't hit me on a deeper level the way some other shows do. Maybe I'll do more of these. But again, it appeals... Yeah. If you like shows that have a bit of a sick joy to them, this is a pretty good one to check out. I wouldn't say it's... I would say that there are other the shows that have done some of this a little better. The comedy's a little stronger in other shows, but this one has its own unique weird charm to it, and it is one that I really do enjoy.